It's just Bruce, he don't bite. <laughs> Hello. So, hey folks, uh, welcome back to the channel once again. Um, I really wasn't going to do a video tonight, but uh, today I had to work in the shop. I'm, I'm still sick. I don't want the steroids and the antibiotics, but I'm doing okay. Um, I watched the uh, Fallout series on uh, Amazon Prime, and that's based on the Fallout video game franchise. Now, normally I don't do uh, reviews about uh, uh, TV series and movies and stuff like that. It's just not me. Uh, I actually don't like... Well, same with toys. I, I don't like when people do reviews. It's like, okay, you know, it, it's hard to explain. I just don't like doing it. But I got to admit, this time it's a little bit different. And tonight I'm going to give you my thoughts on the Fallout series from Amazon Prime uh, because I'm a huge video game fan of the Fallout series. Fallout, uh, you know, the Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas, Fallout 4. I uh, didn't like Fallout 76 that much. The, the video games, but um, I want to get Fallout 4 in VR, but my computer's not strong enough to handle it. But I guarantee after watching this series today, I'm going to start playing Fallout 4 again. I'm going to start a new game probably on Sunday. That's the next chance that I'm going to have to do it. But anyway, here we go. Here's what I think about it. Now, just like last night, I'm trying to... Uh, I'm going to cut out a lot of my coughing fits and stuff like that. Uh, apparently, last night, I, I missed one where I had to pick my nose because I'm sorry. I'm sick. It is what it is. And, of course, somebody had to make a really nasty comment about it. So just keep those to yourself. Dude, I'm sick. It is what it is. I do this for the fun of it. Anyway, back to Fallout. So, you know, I heard about the series. I've been looking forward to it because I love Fallout 4. And uh, this series, for me, didn't disappoint. Now, I'm not the kind of person that's going to sit and rip apart the directors or the actors or anything like that. I just want to know if I enjoy myself, if I enjoy the plot, if I like the storyline. And I did. I really did. Now, I'm going to try as hard as I can not to give any spoilers on this. I really am. I'm going to try. But if anybody that has seen my videos knows I like to talk. So, if I do have a spoiler coming up and I don't realize it, when I edit this... I will put on the bottom, spoiler coming up. So, I mean, that's the best I can do, because I'm just going to talk about it. But I, I think I can do this without doing spoilers. Uh, okay, let's start. Uh, first of all, uh, Fallout, the series on Amazon Prime. It starts out with a main character. Her name is Lucy, and she lives in a vault. And she's uh, uh, they, they, they started this vault back when there was a nuclear war. It's okay, no spoilers yet. And uh, she grew up in this vault with uh, her father and her brother and a, a cousin, I believe, and uh, just a close-knit group. Okay, I did good, no spoilers yet. Um, and it basically uh, follows her story. Um, okay, I, I, I did see in the previews that you could see her father got jacked from the vault and uh, her mission was to go find him. Okay, still no spoilers. That was in the previews, so I don't feel bad saying that. And you get all that in the first episode. Um, okay, moving on. Um, if you compare it to the video game, which is what I am because I love that video game, uh, there's just little Easter eggs all over the place. I mean, uh, First Aid Kit has a stim pack in it, which is something from the game. Uh, the, the weapons and stuff like that, same thing, something from the game. It almost like it follows along playing with a different version of the game, which I like that. I like that. It's almost like I'm playing a game, but I'm sitting on my fat ass watching it. Um, so it, it, And it goes on. And, uh, <clears throat> sorry about that. Um, and it goes on and they introduce the new characters. Uh, there's a ghoul who is played by, um, oh shoot, what's his name? Walton Goggins plays the ghoul. And, uh, it, it, if you see a picture of him, you'll probably recognize him for other things. A very good character. Like I said, no spoilers so far. We're good. Um, it goes on. There's a, there's a bunch of different people in this movie that, uh, I didn't even recognize. Uh, Leslie Uggams. If you know who Leslie Uggam, uh, Leslie Uggams is, um, back in the uh, '80s, uh, she was on a show called That's Incredible, and she's done many other things other than that. That's just what I remembered about her. And her character was really good. Um, like I said, really trying hard not to do spoilers, but this series has a lot of uh, drama, a twist, plot twist. Uh, little conspiracies, this, that, and the other, just like the game did, where you've got to figure out not everything is as it appears. Um, okay, no spoilers, still trying, still trying to be a good boy. But it continues on, and uh, I just really like what they did with it. It, it was very interesting. 
Um, I was very entertained. Uh, there's another character on there. I thought it was going to be Preston Garvey, who, if you've ever played the game Fallout 4, Preston Garvey is the most annoying NPC I've ever had to deal with in any game I played. Now, not that I played that many games, but Preston Garvey sucked. Uh, he was the leader of the Minutemen in the video game. Um, he's not in the, he's not in the series, so go ahead and watch that and don't worry about it. Uh, maybe he'll be in season two. I don't know. But they did cover the Brotherhood of Steel, which, like I said in the previews, still no spoilers, and uh, a couple factions, which is basically what Fallout 4 is about. Fallout 4 is about pick your faction, you know, to win the game or, you know, have a different outcome. Whether you win or not, it really... It's... It's it's weird. It, it, winning, the, you don't really win Fallout 4. You complete the scenarios. And in the game Fallout, Fallout 4, you can pick any faction you want and you stick with them to the end of the story. And it all has a different outcome, which is one of the reasons I liked it. Because theoretically, you could play it four times and have different outcomes all four times. So uh, it's that. And the movie, um, or I'm sorry, no, not, no, I keep saying the movie. I mean to say the series. The series uh, follows that pretty closely, but it doesn't follow the plot of Fallout 4. It's its own plot and its own storyline. Now, this is when a lot of people will sit there and nitpick the directors and nitpick uh, anything they can just to find fault with it. I'm not finding fault with this one. I really enjoyed all eight episodes. I literally just finished watching it like a few minutes ago, and that's why I wanted to do the video now while it's fresh in my old man, old man mind, because I forget things. So, and like I said, without giving spoilers, because I hate when people get on there and say, oh, well, this happened, and this person did this, and this person did that, and you haven't even watched it yet. I hate that. I hate that. I, I remember a long time ago, uh, the Harry Potter books. I read all the Harry Potter books before the movies came out. And the one where Voldemort died, oh, there's a spoiler. But the, the one where Voldemort died, I was halfway through the book, and a friend of mine, I told her I was reading, and she's like, oh, that's the one where Voldemort dies. And I'm like, you bitch. Because I enjoy, I don't want spoilers, so I'm trying not to give you spoilers. And if you haven't read the book or saw the movie where Baltimore dies, I'm sorry, it's been long enough, so I don't count that as a spoiler. But anyway, back to the Fallout uh, for our Fallout series. Um, I really liked it. I mean, it the the the, the graphics and the the way it was, uh, the filmography really reminded me of playing the game. And I played out, I've played that game for hours and hours and hours. When I first got that game, my wife was a video game widow for oh, at least a week. At least a week, maybe more, while I played it the first time. And I'm the kind of guy, like, I don't play a lot of video games, but when I do like a game like that, I immerse myself into it. It's it's like, I don't know, it's like an old lady sitting there on curlers watching her soap operas. You know, I it's, I, it's the one pleasure I do take out of life sometimes. So, um... Yeah, I mean, if it, in case you can't tell, I'm giving this a big thumbs up if that's the thing to do now, you know. it's it. Now, here's the thing. If you've never played the games, you're not going to understand it so much. And I can see where it might be complicated for people that have never played the Fallout series, any games. I mean, there, there was, um, well, Fallout, the, the very first Fallout game wasn't that good. But uh, I fell in love with the Fallout series and Fallout 3. Fallout 3 and then continue it to New Vegas and uh, the rest of the Fallout series. I love those games. It's uh, just something you can totally immerse yourself in, a whole different world. Fallout 4 is my favorite. Uh, there is a rumor Fallout 5's coming out. We'll see. I'm, I'll buy it if it does. Probably going to have to get a new computer because my computer won't play Fallout 4 in VR. That's another thing I'd like to do. So anyway, you know, it goes on and on. There's eight episodes, eight hours, I, which is what I worked in the shop today. And uh, I couldn't stop watching it. It was just that interesting. No Preston Garvey. What, what, watch next season. I'll probably bring him back just to annoy me. But um, I really just enjoyed it. So, like I said, I'm not one to sit here and nitpick apart the actors and what they did wrong and you know, what's not supposed to be and what's not canon. I don't care about none of that. I just know I enjoyed the, the TV series. So, if you get a chance to watch it, whether you play the Fallout game or not, uh, it, it's good. Now, what I want to know in the comments is if you've never heard of Fallout in your life and you get a chance to watch this, I'd like to know your thoughts. I really would because I feel if you've never played the game, you probably won't get a lot of what's going on because they didn't really describe the vault life for Lucy before she went out on her own looking for her dad. And like I said, borderline spoiler, I'm not going to do any more about that. Um, 
but as a gamer who knows how the Fallout series goes and the basic storylines, it uh, made a lot more sense to me than it would my wife, who is working tonight and couldn't watch it with me. It seems like she's working all the time whenever I do cool stuff. Uh, anyway, check it out. Let me know in the comments what you think about it, if you've already watched it. I mean, it came out on the 11th, and today's the... Uh, da, 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 da. What is today? Friday night? Is it Friday? Yeah, the 19th. There's a, no, it's the 12th. I'm an idiot. I told you, I'm on cold medicine and everything, so I'm a little loopy. All right, guys. Hey, thanks for tuning in. Um, I hope this wasn't too long, and uh, I'll catch you next time. Bye. Mr. Bruce is being weird again. Mm -hmm. All right, then.